This is a very simple first question. We clearly can use our plug points into equations strategy because they give us an equation and they give us a bunch of points. So make your life as easy as possible when you use the strategy. We, in each of these charts, have a point where the X coordinate is zero. So we might as well use that. And so if you're just using the strategy, it's just as a matter of plugging in four for Y and zero for X and seeing if you get a valid equation. So zero plus four is four. So yeah, that checks out. And if we went down the line and did that for every single thing, zero plus four is not six, that gets that wrong. Uh, two is not equal to zero plus uh, four. I'm just making sure I'm writing this right. And then zero equals zero plus four, also wrong. So uh, what I would do here is, is this. I would kind of treat it like an assembly line, right? Like take that zero point and test it in each, each uh, test each choice before you move on to the next point. And sometimes, yeah, there's no reason to move on to the next point. It's just over. This is the first question. So we would expect it to be the easiest. Now, for some of you, this was also obvious from the start because the x, when x is zero, we have a y-intercept, and you might have recognized that in this equation, which is a line, the y-intercept is the, the b portion, the part that's added at the end. So we knew that the point zero, four was going to lie on this thing from the start, and then only choice a involves that point. That is fine too. Basically, I just want to make it clear that like, we have the ability to plug points into equations and in a lot harder questions, that is going to be the way to go. And regardless, you should always be able to look at a question and instantly know, do you have equations? Do you have points that you can plug in? You really want to know very quickly whether this is a viable strategy because it is the most useful strategy on the entire math section.